Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon, I mean, to the Tag Pikachu Returns. Last time, Pikachu got arrested, and now we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Excuse me. Make sure the link is subscribed so we can find out. I saw more Pikachu than any, but no Pikachu. Hey, Tim, do you find it in court? Is done? No, I don't think so. He always said he claimed that Pikachu did it. Um, you have a witness of anyone getting uh, taken? No, I only heard rumors Paul apparently stole some of the valuables. Hmm. Excuse me. Hey, some questions. Excuse me. You haven't seen anything last night. Or there's a question from there the holy I didn't see any Pikachu. Um, you witness anything? I heard Pokemon cause trouble in front of the cafe, but I don't see it for myself. Do some cats. Since we know that the teen Pokemon have partners, we can ask them. Oh no, what do I do? This will be the end. You gotta help me. I don't know what happened. I dropped my Redding Wing. This is real serious. I think it rolled under the gap between the building. It's so narrow I can't reach. I can't show my face home if I don't get it back. Yeah, Pokemon is good. Good thinking. A long slender Pokemon, maybe what we need. Look around and see if we can do anything. Damn, that's really unlucky. Okay, fine. I thought I could check it. Guess not. Something here? Alright, Burmy! Hey, Burmy, how you doing? Burr, oh. Burr! Well, oh, Burmy really started me. I'm sure you can find Burmy tree in the city. That's the first. Oh, it has a flower on its head, but I guess it doesn't count. Arrakis is Snubble. Where is there a guy who owns that watchdog? I can't believe it's happening. Have you seen my dearest friend taken away from you? That's heartbreaking. I know, right? That what happened to me. Want to talk about it? My son might help me. He suddenly showed up. They. Right out of the way, a lot of accusation, then told me they're taking away my Morpeko. I tried to stop them, but they said they had proof, and the law is the law. It really looked so sad and defeated as the police took him away. How awful. Yeah, it really was. Excuse me. Did Pikachu? No, I didn't. I was home at night. Tell us a bit more about your movement. He's my partner, Chipper, little guy. I have a big appetite. I assume that's why I suspect him. Apparently, Pokemon was caught in trouble last night. He said Pokemon stole so much food right in this very cafe. That's what happened. When we got hungry, he does get cranky. His fur changed color, but he never stole food before. He imagined looking at trouble for anyone. You don't say. I'll look around. Hey. Let's look around. Oh. Cup of coffee. Oh. The menu. All of this crazy stuff down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks scorched. He wouldn't really use his aura wheel. Mm -hmm. I really change height based on what it's feeling. Yeah, when he's hangry, it's dark. But when he's full of belly, it's electric. A few mentioned he used to go to But that would mean more than some food, it had a full belly. Yeah, you're right. What's going on here? Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Why would he steal food when he's already hung full belly? Just a window. Oh, All right. oh that's it. <laughs> Oh no, not him. Tim, why imagine us running into each other again? Here of all places. You're that guy who suddenly plucked some of Pikachu's fur. Yes, I'm Charles Murlock, scientist and policy mastermind of Rhyme City. Where's your partner, Pikachu? Don't tell me you two had a falling out. No, nothing like that. I know you. You're the one who keeps meeting with my dad. Well, well, the mayor's daughter. You know, Rhyme City has become rather dangerous lately. I know how much Howard worries about you. I suggest you head home soon. And I suggest you mind your business. Uh -huh. You got a lot explain to do. What sort of ideas are you putting into his head? And all these Pokemon management measures are you did you're doing? Oh my, oh dear. It seems you got caught in a bad mood. Perhaps we should talk over, speak over sometime. Excuse me, until next time. Well, I'm not very talkative today. So it's saying a single question. You may serve a true straw. <laughs> I guess we should go in and ask Pablo about the whole shebang in front of his store. Hey, After all, he'd hey. know. All this investigation may run empty. Anyway, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Hey! 
And then just keep going. Who's that about the scorches? Do you know about the scorch mark inside the wall? Yeah, it's got no one's hurt. I'm pretty sure the damage most substantial and that's a relief scorch mark. Pretty powerful. Did you see what happened? No, by the time I noticed it was already like that. No not fun surprise, let me tell you. Oh, kinda. Huh. Dynasty. Hmm, well it's a Pokemon. Hey Sandy, it's not sound on the customers. I think this is the antique form. You can let me see under your Tico pretty quick. Oh look, that's a mark. That means you're a rare little one, aren't you? What do you mean antique form? Oh yeah, you have the phony form. They're forged. But they're not any antique of residence available. Yeah, you can tell the cup is genuine by the mark. Alright, so you're not you're not just knowledgeable, you got an excellent eye for detail. Happy to see such so many compliments. Must be able to sense your excitement. <laughs> not that cool. We all know. Pretty cool. What's this teapot doing? Deep? Oh. That's a poltergeist. Pulte. What? Something's in there. That's a poltergeist. The poem that lives in the teapot. Oh yeah, one day it showed up out of the blue. No, he didn't have any information. Put a flower in your head. Oh dear, where did he run off to? I need to read about it. Well, look, please help me search for Gossiper. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Please find them. There are two in total. So this one is the one that took them. How could this happen? Are you okay? I'm sorry, I just stressed out muttering to myself. What happened? You're too kind for listening to me. When I got to my shop this morning, I saw someone had messed up the flowers. So the Pokemon really came and investigated. But how could they accuse my Inteleon? Wait, they took your Italian away? Yes, but there's no way they, he'd ever do such a thing. Excuse Did you see a Pikachu recently? Don't remember. How about your Italian? He's my brother. He's been with me forever since we were both small. He loves flowers and he always borrows them gently for me. I can't imagine his people doing something like that to be convinced that he ruined the flowers. Hmm, okay. Well, that's awful. Did anyone see Italian messing with the flowers? Not a single eyewitness, but the people claim that they have proof of the surveillance camera. You might be really investigate the scene. Of course I don't mind. Hey. Hmm. All right. See what we can find. This font has many flowers in it. Some flowers spilled out. But there's a claw mark. Huh? There's a con on the wall. It looks like it was done by a sharp blade. A blade, huh? It's, a, it's kind of knife-like, but I would never All use right. tail for that. I think everything of note here. Oh, plant in the shop. More pop plants. I don't think there's anything else to look at. Mm. Alright. We should check everything. Let's think. Lily? A little again. Has a flower on its head. Find mm -hmm. the sudden thing. Let's use the information we gathered to figure out what's going on with these Pokemon. The Pokemon want people's belongings. The instant Pokemon are being detained. Are the Pokemon hungry? Or the Pokemon upset about something? The instant Pokemon are being detained. Okay. None of the evidence left of the crime scene seems like those Pokemon would likely leave behind. That's true, their partners were in shock because their Pokemon would do something that completely out of character. Just like Pikachu, the same thing keeps happening. That's fun, Jake. Every crime, though. As strange as it all seems, it's difficult to convince the PvE that something's off. Every crime has photo evidence, and the Pokemon are behaving out of character. What if the Pokemon are being framed? What, what makes you say that? Oh, uh, sorry, I guess I'm speaking with Clown. I can't say for sure. Still, a lot of these things at the crime scene just don't add up. Don't think we can rule out it out just yet. If that is happening, I sure hope we can find something to help this Pokemon. Let's say for a minute that the Pokemon Protection Brewery and the police are framing innocent Pokemon. That's the case. What are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to detain Pokemon without doing thorough investigations, or is there more to it than that? I couldn't say why, but maybe detaining Pokemon isn't a means to an end. Maybe it's their actual goal. You mean if we were in the PBB and the police are just out there trying to pump up their numbers? Do they really have a little respect for Pokemon? Well, Rachel, wait a sec. 
We need to investigate a little bit more before we draw any conclusions. Things are, aren't are quite adding up just yet. You're right, sorry, I got a little heated. It's okay, let's start asking people around the city about the, of the recent detainments. People who should know about the most detainments are the police in the brewery. But it's not that didn't know much of anything. Maybe we should ask the other police officers. Good idea. Maybe the police will tell us. <laughs> Even though they don't want to talk. It's a cute Pokemon. Incidents have been rising to take care of Excuse yourself. Excuse me. Do you mean you have a few credits? That's all right, are you? We're actually looking for people who've been handling Pokemon detainment. I'm not the one assigned to my my dude here at the station. How can we get to someone who has assigned that? Why don't we try asking to do outside the parking lot out back? Thank you. Hey you, go home. This ring a bell. Alright. Rejoin. It's a big night. Hey, Why he do that? Big big you know, little room down. Oh dear, please give it a try, Pink Knight, please. Me? All right, how we out there actually I'm trying to go camping. You know, here's supposed to light our campfire. Vin's already so hungry he won't even budge. Oh poor thing. I meant to bring along some of his favorite berries, but I totally spaced out and forgot. I can't leave Pink Knight here while I run home to get some. Hey Tim, can we go gather some berries for these two? I like to, but how are we gonna fit in the sit find berries in the city? They are full of Pokemon, they must be berries. Who's all these places are already eaten? Oh, we're trying to take trees. We'll find some berries. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I'll do my best. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I'm just trying to... As many places as I can. Hey, you. Go home. All right. All right. This should be bad. I should go check on them. Hope you can see us sing in the city. What good concerns solve? Uh... This weird berry, isn't it? Let's show his partner. Did you find some mm -hmm. berries? I found these. These are perfect for him. That's right. It looks happy. You can go camping. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, that was actually really easy. It's the only tree you could check. I like the music. Oh, <gasps> the lynx! I love the lynx! I'm gonna put on two minutes lately. I'm pretty sure how many of these fight. Actually, this is what I like to ask you about. Oh, fancy that. Um, it's born in one of your assignment duties. Yes, it is. Recently, it feels like Team Bowman's all I do. Frankly, what's supposed to be the pre sensibility? But they're in such a new organization, they don't see enough personnel, even officers like me to pick up their slack. That sounds really tough. I'm sure your department already has enough on their plate. Well, they wouldn't say that. The official story that the PU was formed to assist the police keep us from spreading ourselves too thin, that sort of thing. But between you and me, we're actually never given us more police work that we than we can handle. I think it was established as part of Mayor's vision for the city. But this goes without saying, working with People and Pokemon are two different ball games. Yeah, people have their individual quirks, but at least all one species. Pokemon, on the other hand, exactly. There's an infinite number of variables we need to be able to respond to in any given situation. It feels like it fe all feels way above my pay grade. But with the direction of Mary and the people are talking, th taking things, there's not too much I can do. Did your bruise its head? You can trust us. Excuse answer. Me. A few questions. I can for me. I have to answer anything I can. It's going to be one of your assignments. Yes, it is. And we've been being extra vigilant. The reminder of friendship free. And I've been promoting it a lot lately. Yes, he has. Pokemon Friendship Guys was created in response to the R recent incident two years ago. It was not ideal for a people because of Pokemon. As long as they were, we work hard to protect that piece. Oh, I see. They were pretty lucky to have an officer like you. If anything happened, we'll be there in no time. We're at ease. Thanks for state of the art surveillance camera we've been using. Not a single incident is recorded. Are cameras really all that special? The yeah, our cameras have captured the incriminating moment of ev in every recent incident. Really, every last one. Are you sure that isn't just a coincidence? I'm sure those cameras are amazing, but that sounds too good to be true. We don't have a lot of s at our disposal, but the few we are extremely effective. Let's think. I can just walk into their apart parking lot? Weird. What is the mm -hmm. brewery doing? I don't know what they're doing. To be rushing their investigation. Or was this the tampon one to prevent future cases? There is staging incidents. There are a few, and you have to get on camera. No matter how you slice it, that's way too coincident. I think so. Okay. I'm going to impeach you. A lot of Pokemon have been detained in different places. 
Wait, somehow a fusion in the city managed to film each one of them. Seems too good to be true. Not to mention street camera was caught the exact moment each crime was committed. Right. Seems a bit too convenient. Maybe they staged them? That's definitely a possibility. Hmm. All this time I just assumed there was another Pikachu. But now I'm having second thought. What do you mean? The only people have been caused have caused incidents and been detained in such short time. And it seems that the incriminating detail for every one of these incidents have been captured on camera. Rather than finding a double for each and every one of these Pokemon, it would be easier for them to use just one Pokemon capable of passing as any one of the others. If they had a Pokemon that could do that, yes, they had a Pokemon like that. It could explain how many times these incidents occurred in such short time. So what it should be looking for is a Pokemon that looks like another Pokemon. Right, let's ask around more. Even if the Pokemon Protection Brewery staged the incidents, the actual crimes have been committed by Pokemon. All the partners of the Detain Pokemon said the same thing. They're convinced that they were Pokemon. Their Pokemon would never commit crimes they were they've been accused of. I can really only think of one possible explanation: a different Pokemon than the ones that were detained can't commit all the crimes. We gotta find a Pokemon that can look make itself look different. Ah, the Ditto. We're looking for a ditto. Hattina. Hello. Hat? What's this Pokemon? Yeah, we're looking for a ditto. That's very... That's the only thing that can... That makes the most sense. All right. I answer? Yeah, it's Lil again. Oh, not challenging for you. Alright, what's the next question? What well, Pokemon is fluffy for a while and it loves to stay clean. It was as pleases. Come on, that's. Mmm. Look at this for it. Do do do. -do. But it's fluffy around it, only its neck is dead. Spins out a gap. Oh. I think I didn't hear you Do you understand? I can't understand, but I hope you understand. Can you help him out? Okay. Let's go see. This is who you say my ring for me. You called it for me, right? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for it. Be careful not to drop anything now. I'll do what I can. I can't help with my ring. Thanks so much. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. We got his ring back. I'm glad to help him. For it. Thanks for your help. Fluffy around Pokemon has that's fluffy around its neck. Oh, Delcaddy. Yeah. The fluffy scarf. Hey, this is the one that that crazy lady said. Maybe she, maybe Delcaddy is the Pokemon we're looking for. There you are. All right. It's Delcaddy. Correct. A little difficult. Final question. What one said to? Motions via the presenter on its head. Ah. I think that's Hitan. Hatina? Talk to you again. Oops, forgot about the car. Yeah. My Pokemon, you know what it is? Hey, it shows up the humans. This form. Hey, you know what? I think this describes the Pokemon. Okay, let's go. Hey, it's Hatina. Hatina, right? Of course it is. What's that for today? Oh, Ditto, dear. Is it confident? Ditto, where can it be? But that's Ditto's partner. I hear the voice. Excuse me. Hello there. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Here, go ahead. I've been so lonely. It's nice to have a distraction. What's troubling you? Well, you see, my dear partner went missing a while ago. So, that was your voice we heard just now. Yes, I've been looking for everyone. I just can't find him. I'm worried sick. Throw a bit of again. I think I'm trying to cheer me up. I truly do. Ditto loves to play using Transform. Turns on soon, but my little one isn't actually very good at using transform. I can only differentiate what it sees with its own eyes. Mm. Sometimes they get the shape wrong, but that just makes it even cuter. Aww. Poor woman. She said did has been missing for a while now, right? I know it fits the profile what we're looking we're searching for, but could it really have gotten tangled up in these incidents? It's possible, yeah. Is there any way to be sure? Yes, I can ask Pikachu. Ask Pikachu. Oh, uh, yeah, it's about time I visit him. 
So I'll discuss, I mean, talk with, you know, let's just go and see how he's doing. Be sure I can join in on this visit, even though I'm not his partner. Yeah, it should be fine. Come on, let's go. Let me explain, blah, blah, blah. You ready to visit him? Yes. Yes. So this is Vitae. I feel nervous being in here. Yeah, it's my first time. I'll wait. What is it, Tim? Oh, nothing. Could you actually wait a second for me? Actually, I do. I've been keeping the fact that Pikachu and I can speak to you a secret. What's Rachel going to think when she sees you talking to him? You need to keep it right. I should tell her the truth. You okay, Tim? You've been thinking awfully hard. Rachel. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? It sounds pretty serious. I don't expect you to believe me, but the truth is... I can understand everything Pikachu says. Big bombshell. <laughs> I don't understand to hear someone say something like that. If you don't believe me, I understand. Amazing, huh? That's a I'm so jealous you could communicate with Pokemon. So when you said you've been communicating with Pikachu, you really, you meant it literally. Are you able to talk to him? Do you know how that happened? Honestly, I'm not so sure myself. He's the only one I can understand too. Pikachu interprets for me what when I'm speaking to other Pokemon. Wow, oh, Pikachu's clever. It must be a strong bond to trust Pikachu that let, lets you understand him. Hmm, but we were able to talk as soon as we met. Then maybe you just instantly understood each other's feelings from the start? Maybe, but hey, you're amazing yourself, you know. You say so much Pokemon, it's clear how much you care about them. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate what you're saying. I've always, always felt this way. Then I want to understand Pokemon better and have them understand me as well. Always? Yeah, Pokemon rescued me when I was a little kid, you know. Once, when I got lost in the forest in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring helped me out. An Ursa Ring? That's right. I was cold. Lonely and crying, but it stayed by my side and kept me safe. I know that Ursa Ring helped me because it could understand what I was feeling. And that's why I wholeheartedly believe that Pokemon and humans can understand each other's feelings. My mother. I learned that from her. Understanding each other's feelings. That's really nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember that day so clearly. That Ursa Ring and I really connected back then, heart to heart. When I told my mom and Papa about it, they said that humans and Pokemon were always meant to be that close. But Papa changed. All this Pokemon uh, management stuff is so unlike him. And when they've done nothing wrong. I understand how you feel, Rachel. Thanks, Tim. Yes. I think Pidu will be here soon. Might not be able to see him, but at least see him saving Sean. Yeah, we'll visit. I visited him yesterday. Here, hey. Pikachu. Tim made any part of the investigation. Hey Tim, it's Kane's coming to see me. I'm glad to see you're okay. Oh, Rachel's here too. Hey Tim, are you sure this guy letting her see his talk? Actually, that. About that. I actually told her a secret a minute ago. She knows everything. She knows that you and I can talk to each other. Oh, that was pretty bully. Did she even believe you? Yeah, she even said she was jealous. Uh, that's a relief. Rachel's a bit of an odd one, isn't she? Either way, there's still an officer in the room, so we should keep it down. Yeah, I know. So, anyway, let's get straight to the point. I've got something to report to you, Tim. I managed to get help from the other Pokemon in the detainment rooms. Now I can see into all sorts of different places inside the police station. Well, fantastic. Good thing you figured out how to get along with them. We're not exactly best friends or anything like that, but I guess that's okay. There's something else I want to talk to you about too. Come on, let's pull our information. Hey. Found this photo of the incident occurring at the plaza. It's a Pikachu. And I don't gonna tell you it's not me. That other Pikachu's the real culprit. But that's your hat in the picture. Yeah, somebody must have gone specifically to frame me. But it's obvious that it isn't mine, right? Right, you got stripes on your back, but this Pikachu in the photo doesn't have any. Oh. Exactly, I'm curious about what that thing on its back. The same device that I've got on my back right now, too. I asked around the city yesterday about those devices. Based on Tesman Gathered, I'm pretty sure they're meant to keep Pokemon pacified. To keep them from going berserk, you mean? Hey. Were you able to track down the real culprit? No, we found some trace, but they trailed off. I don't know where it went. Too bad. Sorry, I haven't been able to prove your innocence yet. Hey, no need to apologize. I know you're trying your best. If you couldn't find it, you couldn't find it. 
What's important is that you do next. Yeah, and as for the double, I think there's a high chance that a Pokemon was impersonating you. You think? That's an intriguing story. Mm -hmm. By the way, Pikachu, what kind of Pokemon are helping you here? There's lots of them. They're, the most helpful is Luxray. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he can teeth objects to objects and use powerful electric moves. That vision sounds pretty handy, but he knows strong electric moves. Let me stop you right there. I don't think that was a culprit at all. If he were, were the people would have had any cause to arrest me in the first place. Yeah, good point. That reminds me. Luxray asked you me to pass a message on to you. What is it? He wants to know if his friend Mightyena is doing all right. All right. The two of them got in a fight, and he's worried about the aftermath. He says he usually hangs around 2nd Avenue. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for the money in. Let me know if he, how it's doing. Thanks, Tim. Hey. Don't even guess about the cult home I'm guessing me. I have an idea. I need to consider all possibilities. Let's, Let's see. see. Mm hmm. Come on, commit the crime. Let's take it over. It's plainly Ditto. He has to see him. He clearly didn't see Pikachu from the back. I uh, Ditto, huh? Yeah, Ditto could have made himself look like me. The other partner said that Ditto can only copy things it can see. That probably explains why there are no stripes on Pikachu's back. But I've looked at every detainment cell I didn't see and Ditto. That's strange. It if it was detained, it should be in the detainment cell. Since I'd better search the other, the better search the other rooms. Ditto is, is, um, Butler's Pokemon. 100%. I'm guessing it. If the PV and the police are been using Ditto, then they're definitely up to no good. So that's it. What is it, Tim? I saw Brad out about several times while I was investigating. He seemed to be examining the scene of the crime, a crime which ha already had a culprit. That's kind of suspicious. I really don't want to speak Brad, but I can't help but wonder what he was up to. Yeah, Brad may be a bit of a jerk, but still, we've known him for two years now. I don't think he's having... I don't like I suspect him as a suspect, but you need to look into what he's been up to. But, Tim, you're a detective. You're not trying to bring Brad down. You're only trying to cover the truth. You're right. And look into the cube-shaped devices, too. I understand their functionality to pass by Pokemon, but that alone doesn't explain everything. You're right. The Pokemon in the photo damaged the Slowpoke statue. The device may have some under function as well. Like controlling them. What are Brad doing at the same crap? So you can ask him, but he's going to so he might just give you a runaround. In that case, maybe we should ask the other officers. Agreed. You might want to ask people in the city what they think of them. So I keep losing my memory here in the police and I don't know what's happening. I ask people around the city. I'm sure they'll, they'll figure something out. Yes. It turns out he's been investigating the police on top to bottom. Wow, he's just like a spy. Yeah, I'm not a spy. I'm a great detective. Many times over. Oh, I wish I had more time. Good luck with your investigation. Not this darn it. What is it, Pikachu? It's like yesterday. I feel like I'm about to lose my memories. My body's moving on its own. No use. Pikachu, okay? He's looking kind of strange just now. He was like that after the first video. I'm worried about him. Him, evening. All right. So there are two things we need to do. First, find Brad. Second, look into those cube safe. There I said what they actually do. Is Brad that man we saw on the plaza? You know him, right? I hope you don't end up squaring off against each other. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary, but I don't know. We don't know sure that'll happen. This is country uncovered the truth. Oh, one more thing. If we see a Mighty Anna, we need to check how it's doing. Mighty Anna? Yeah, Pichu asked me to check on it. Apparently, it's friends with the Luxray in the station. Wow, you talk with all that. It sounds like Pika Pika to me. Yeah, that's normal. I'm pretty sure I'm the weird one here. Not weird, Tim. Exceptional. Hey, thanks. I'm glad I opened up to you. I'm um, detectives. Sorry. Dude, no, it's fine. Were you talking about Brad just now? Yes, there's something we like to ask him about. Well, we're looking around. He just headed out on over to the 2nd Avenue on new orders. Really? Thanks for letting us know. Okay, we're heading there. Let's go see what Brad has to say. We also ask him. Yeah, you're passionate Excuse about this me? case. Actually, I'd like to ask you a question or two. About the situation. Did anything strange happen? I don't know. If I necessarily call it strange, but there have been several Pokemon related incidents. At this rate, we're going to fill up every detainment cell we've got. That was pretty stressful for the Pokemon. If they're stressed, they can work it out during their daily exercise time. Okay. I keep thinking fast forward is the other button for some reason. Champ, champ. Look at those muscles. Excuse me. Good evening, can I ask you a question? 
about the situation? Did anything unusual happen? You mean unusual? I mean, with food. This is every day with so many Pokemon related. See, it's like anything but usual. Sounds like a lot to deal with. Me a lot, but it's my job. All I can do is my desk. Did you his head? Excuse I can me? serve. Ask you about the situation. A number of incidents. Would you like to talk about each one? There's no detail. No, I don't mean that much detail. I'm just looking for more general information. Like you're busy. Which one? Gotta find. Hmm. Okay. Bunkaboo. Bunkaboo. I think that's Brad over there. Yeah, I definitely saw his manager. You two doing good? Huh? Dangerous. Did something happen? Is there any Pokemon back there? We should probably leave it alone. I think Brad had gone this way. I called the police. Hmm. No, then we're gonna have to detain the Pokemon properly. It's Brad. My anyway, isn't that? Yes, the one he's talking about. Well, if it's not great to tell you, you're welcome to observe, but don't get in our way. This might be preventing him from passing through. Not only that, this might be it. Same might be it. Was involved in the altercation with the Luxray. This moment poses a clear threat to the public. I'm afraid we'll have to detain it until we calm it down. Wait, Brad. And you are? Wait, you're the maid's daughter, aren't you? Hard dog, yeah. Just like the, th the poor thing is injured. Please, at least treat his wound before you take it in. Don't you feel sorry for it? I'll make sure I receive treatment after I take it to the stadium. Will that satisfy you? No, it won't. We'll treat it ourselves then. Ooh, you two, my mind. Who knew you were so talented? Let's help him. Are you still sure there's a Pokemon that can help? We'll go find one right now. There's someone in the city. A Chansey, an Adino, or an Indeedy or something. Indeedy? I'm an ED. Hey, you two, what do you think you're doing? A Pokemon to hurt, please. We need Indeedy's help. Ah, oh, is that so? Very well. We should always help others. Time indeed. Let's go with them, Indeed. We can help them now. Thanks. This way. Please, man, if you could nice enough fully, but it's stable for now. I trust it's enough to put your mind at ease. I appreciate you waiting for a tree. Something I'd like to talk to you about, Brad, before you take my in away. What is that, great detective? There's something all about off about all these entertainments the police have been doing. Every single thing has been caught by the secret of too convenient to be natural. Surely you noticed, Brad. It's a Pokemon I'm being framed. That's what happened to my Pikachu, and he's not the only one. So you're supposed to have the security cameras, but the footage on those cameras is incriminating evidence. Unless great detective found evidence that Pokemon are being framed. No, not yet. Exactly, I know you but take this money to custody. It's my duty. Take it away. Aww. Hope my hands okay. It'll be with Pikachu and the others. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is so frustrating. We couldn't even stop Brad. If we just had some proof we could find, we need to find some. Thank goodness, I'm glad I'm gonna finally calm down. I can finally get through here safely. I bet we can talk to those people. Let's see what they have to say. If we're going to do this yes. a favor, but well, we didn't do much. Do you mind if I ask some questions? What do you need? Do you know anything about the cube shape option to use to detain? I mean, the thing they stick on their backs? The way they glow, it's pretty hard to miss. Going back, kind of really will be amusing. I want to really seem to dislike those devices. How can you tell? I saw one struggling and flailing its limbs. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Brad McMaster? He's the. Police guy? Not really. He certainly was easy on the eyes. Yeah, he gives Ryan City's finest a whole new meeting. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to learn anything from, bad from these two. Hey. What should we do now? Not the other people. They're just fangirls of ugly ass Brad. What do I Excuse do? Me? You need help with something? Right, so the building right there, one of my kids actually threw a ball on the roof. He get up there to retrieve it. I don't know what to do. You know, the icing on the cake, I foolish promised my kids I had to bone by them tomorrow. There's some way to get it back at Andy's. A Pokemon's help, probably. Something that can climb or also fly. Well, it's good at climbing. Is it climbing on there? Could ask Toucan for help because he can fly, but you know. No, we had to do it the game's way. Excuse me. Who help? Can I ask about some stuff? <coughs> Did anything strange happen the day after we talked? No, that was it. Imidim has to come back. I wonder how the poor guy's doing. Must get lonely. I'm more worried that his usual planks are calling control for the police. 
You know what mainly my brand McMaster. He typically wears a tall suit. Yeah, yes, and you tell him about Impidip. So I told him everything, how much Impidip loves playing pranks, his foolish puns for saying stuff like that. The fluent was a really good listener. He took it all very seriously, but I figured out why he was asking me all that. Thank you for your help. So Brian was about to, who'd been entertained. What is Brad up to? Hey, can you climb? I mean, you have four arms. No, I guess not. I'm about to say, like, you know, four arms is pretty useful. I know you can climb, but maybe you can teleport up? Oh, I guess not. Am I troubling you again? Oh, Brad. What do you think about him? Oh, yes. He's doing a lot of work. One weird thing I noticed, though, is that he's been recently going out of his... Going out and working on his own. And at the scene of the crime, that have already been so solved. Now, that's suspicious. Why would he do that? I really couldn't tell you. How do you feel about the cube save devices? You mean the manja tags? I'm not really sure. I think they're really high tech or something. I mean, they're machines that they're all. They probably got little computers in them. You know about their function? Well, I'm saying shit, but not really. I think the higher ups didn't know how they work, though. How do you feel about Brad? Of course, we work together on a regular basis. Blah, blah. In fact, he has the highest crime clearance rate in the entire department. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, I didn't realize it was so highly regarded. How do you feel about the Q stuff? There are some tangents. Do you know the functions? Who knows? They never give us any details. That's suspicious. They're telling them to use things that they don't understand. It's like telling a cop to use a taser and then not explaining how a taser works. And so then they accidentally hit themselves or their own teammate because they don't know how that works. I don't know. It just, I mean, you wouldn't aim at anybody, but like, still, like, you gotta explain how the thing works. You feel a little brand. No trouble. What do you need from him? Remember the of PG Vod. No, the Tencent understood for what I can. I feel about those things. I don't understand how they work, but they're pretty interesting. The moment Pokemon is out, fitted with the device, goes with the police without any resistance. Really? Pokemon we on our own? It's much safer when they aren't violent. Let's think. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out what the QJ device really are. And make them go to the could they be for controlling? You have to make Pokemon stand out. No, they control them. Definitely. Okay. You know, okay, well, controlling Pokemon. You really think so? I do. They don't have, don't have any evidence yet, of course, but it seems that way based on what we heard. It's true that Ditto was forced to obey someone else's orders. That's terrible. Hmm. If the person orchestrating these crimes was controlling Ditto, how were they able to give it orders? Based on all the witnesses so far, it's not clear whether anyone was directing Ditto's actions. True, but there had to have been someone at the scene of the crime directly on the Ditto. Yeah, I can't really think of any other method they could have used. Maybe a witness saw someone giving an order. Yeah, we should ask around. And next time, we'll do, we will ask around because we don't have much time left. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye.